Aha, good news everybody. Today we're going to do a PC build. And even better than that, this is a PC build that you could actually do yourself. Because if you notice, we don't have a GPU because they don't exist anymore. And you can you cannot buy a GPU now to save your life. But where we're going, we don't need a GPU because this is going to be a mini Minecraft server. Nice. Now I've recently been on this kick uh, on Minecraft. I never really played too much Minecraft before, but I decided to start my own solo world, do all the stuff like kill the dragon and visit all the places in Minecraft I've never visited before. And I did, and then I found out I had some friends who were playing Minecraft still. So we wanted to play, you know, all together. And before in the past, we've rented a, a server from a hosting service. Didn't really have the best experience with that. We had, it was laggy. It was offline sometimes. Maybe it was the, the hosting service we chose, but it was just a poor experience. So this time around, I was like, you know, it can't be that hard to build a Minecraft server. So that's what I'll try to do today. And everything I chose here was based on wanting it to be as close to current gen as possible and be cheap. So I chose the newest, cheapest stuff that I could find at the time. And the motherboard I went for was the MSI B460i Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. I chose this one because I was looking for something mini ITX. This is all I could really find at the time. And it was the cheapest one out there that was available. And I knew I wanted to go with Intel because I had a real weird, tough time finding any APUs. The Intel processor that I decided to pick up was the i5-10500. Didn't need the K version because we won't be doing any overclocking. This is actually more than enough processing power for the size server that I plan on running. It's just a handful of people who want to play on it. And this will give me a little bit of headroom if I ever want to expand that in the future. Storage, given that this is only going to run Windows and the Minecraft server software, just a 250 gig MVME SSD from Western Digital should be more than enough. I'll have tons of extra space to put things on. Memory, uh, I switched it up a little bit. Originally I was going to go with a team group kit that I had, 16 gig team group kit. It was white, so it didn't match as well. But then I was talking to Antec about some of their cases and I was planning another build that I have coming up, a more high-end HTPC VR custom water cooled build that I'll need to buy a GPU for. So you might see that like next year or something. But I found out that Antec makes memory and they sent over two of their 16 gig Series 7 Katana kits. And after seeing them, they match this build theme a lot better. So I decided to use one of the kits for this. Now it is 3600 megahertz, which is more than this board actually supports, but Shouldn't be an issue. It'll just down clock to whatever the port supports and run just fine. For cooling, didn't need anything crazy. Won't be putting out too much heat. Definitely want it to be air cooling and I wanted something low profile. And the Scythe Big Shuriken 3 is perfect for this. Also, it's got this little black accent on the cooler so it matches the build even better. The only thing I won't be doing is using this stock fan. So this is their stock slim. I switched it out with the same fan, but the RGB version. Power supply, nothing special. Just an SFX Pro 350. Pretty much the, the lowest wattage rated power supply that I could find. It's 80 plus bronze, should run nice and cool and very quiet since I won't be using that much power pretty much at all. So now that we got our little Minecraft server all built, we need something to put it in because we currently don't have anything. And I think I got the best idea in the world, or at least something I think will look halfway decent. And that is given that it's a Minecraft server, I want the case to be Minecraft themed. And when I was thinking about doing this project, I had just killed the dragon in my solo world. And when you kill the dragon in Minecraft, you can then visit the end cities. And in the end cities, you can find dragon heads all around that you can then take home and put in your base. And then you got like a dragon head hanging on your wall. And I was like, that is what I want to do. So I want to design a case that is the dragon head from Minecraft. I want to be able to put this PC in it. I want to be able to hang it on my wall back there. And I'm hoping that the fans RGB light will shine through the, the, the dragon's eyes and the mouth, give it that nice purple glow. And I think it'll look pretty good. We just gotta, we just gotta make that case first. Now we could go into Minecraft, look at the dragon head and kind of try to just draw it. But I'm sure that somebody's already pulled the model from Minecraft or already designed it for like a little 3D printed trinket. So I think we go find one of those. We blow it up to the size we think we need and we use that as a template to model out a, a case for this, for this build. And then we'll have to break that case into pieces because I don't have really a printer currently large enough to print all of it in one go. But I think we can do it. I think it'll look good. We just gotta, we gotta get to designing.
well, this is what we ended up with. And it actually looks, it looks pretty decent. It looks exactly like the dragon head from Minecraft and it's got a PC in it. Now I did mention that obviously this is too large for us to print in one go. It's like what from the mouth, from the tip of the nose, the backside is 327.5 millimeters. I don't have a printer that big, but we can break it apart and I'll show you how I did that. I also grabbed, as you can see, a motherboard and a power supply from GrabCAD just to kind of see how it all went together and give me a, 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 a place to measure from the motherboard to the surface of the inside of the case, make sure that the cooler is going to fit. I think we're all good. So let's me, let me blow it open for you guys. So this is how we're going to print the PC. I got the motherboard tray as one unit, the horns as one unit, the nostrils is also a unit, upper and lower jaw and the, the face. And you can see that everywhere that a piece goes that needs to be assembled, I put a tiny little emboss in there so you know exactly where it goes. There's no measurement needed. You just put it there, add some glue, profit. Same with the mouth there. Uh, as you can see, the, the power supply is going to be mounted underneath the motherboard. So the motherboard is going to be slightly, slightly above it to give it a little bit of a gap. And I think it'll be good. The, the fan, it has a nice little intake vent right here and shouldn't have any issues with overheating. It should just work flawlessly. And I put these little hangers on the back for some drywall screws. So should be able to hang on the wall, no problem. So what do you think? Do you think it looks, think it looks like the dragon head we set out to make? I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, to tell you the truth. It looks like it should. It looks like the little dragon head in Minecraft and now it's got a little Minecraft server in it. So win-win in my books. And the build itself was actually pretty easy. Now, it wasn't perfect. If I, if I was to change anything, it would be this IO cutout because it's uh, not very good. And you had to use an X-Acto knife to get it to fit, but I'll, I'll modify it a little bit before I put the models on Thingiverse for you guys to download. And also, I also should say that the standoffs I use to mount the motherboard use screws that you would use for a power supply. And the reason I did that is that these screws just do better at self-tapping into plastic since they're a little larger than the little tiny baby motherboard screws. So just know that if you're going to build a case in here, use the same screws that you use for your power supply to hold down your motherboard and you shouldn't have any issue. Now, all this is printed in Galaxy PLA, so the Form Futra Galaxy PLA, the blue and the black. This is just normal white. But to glue all this together, I used Weld On 4, and I've used Weld On 4 on my PLA forever. And for whatever reason, even though it says it's made for acrylics, it worked really good for PLA. So if you're looking for a glue, there you go. The PC inside of here, I actually put it together about three weeks ago, without a case obviously, but I put the PC together when I had the parts just to make sure everything worked. And then I kind of set it up on the shelf over here just to make sure I could run Minecraft. I didn't want to build a PC and say it was a server and then not be able to run a server on it. 
And what I decided to do for mine, initially I wanted to run the Linux turnkey stuff, I believe it's called, but I could not get it to work for whatever reason. So I decided to do a regular Windows install, and then I went to just the Minecraft website, downloaded the server software, and it was actually a lot easier than I thought. The reason I wanted to go to turnkey or the Linux-based stuff is that I thought the Minecraft server software would be just too clunky, but works just fine. I would recommend using it because it was actually pretty easy. The hardest part of the whole process is setting up your your, mod your modem or router to port forward to play online with friends, and you'll just have to do a little bit of research. But all in all, it's really not that hard to set up a Minecraft server, and I haven't had any issues. I've been playing on it for three weeks now. No lag, no stutter, no nothing. Everything's been running nice and smooth. But the big question is, is how much did all this cost? For everything that I bought here, this cost about $690 which isn't the cheapest, but in the end, I like how it looks over a used PC. I know it's all new stuff, so it shouldn't break anytime soon. And it doesn't use much power, doesn't make much heat, and it doesn't make much noise. So when it's mounted on the wall, I think it'll look good and it'll have a server for us to play on for many days to come. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna download this model, I'll put it on my Thingiverse account. And if you do decide to build a PC in it, uh, send me a picture of it on Twitter, I'd like to see it. Till next time, peace.